When applying for any job in Australia, you must send two important documents along with your job application. One is a resume, one of the most important parts of your job application. The other one is a cover letter. Now, when it comes to the cover letter, many people underestimate its power. It is a fact that many applicants don't bother to send a cover letter along with their resume in the job applications. And some applicants send a generic cover letter that doesn't serve the purpose of the job application. So if you want to get ahead in your job application, we suggest you watch this video till the end, as we will cover everything you need to know about how to write a cover letter in Australia. Obviously, you might think you've already sent a resume with your job application, so why do you need to send a cover letter? So, first things first, what is a cover letter? Consider a cover letter as a pitch you will deliver to your prospective employer. So, a cover letter is a perfect chance to introduce yourself and tell your prospective employer who you are and your skills and experience. That pretty much sum up your resume. Now, how long should it be? A cover letter should never be more than one page long. To give you an idea, it can be anywhere from half a page to a full page, but not more than that. Consider that hiring managers usually don't have much time, and they usually get plenty of job applications when they put up any job ads. So they hardly have time to read the job application in detail. So, what they like to do is usually read your cover letter first, even before reading your resume. In reality, a cover letter becomes an important part of your job application. When it comes to the word limit, it should ideally be between 250 to 300 words. Now let's talk about how to write your cover letter step by step. To start off, align your cover letter from the left-hand side of the page. First, write down your own contact details, including your name, phone number, email address, and home address. Then write down the date when you're writing this cover letter. The next thing is the contact details of the employer. Write down the name of the hiring manager, the company name, and the company address. Here's a tip. If you don't know the hiring manager's name, it's a good idea to call the company and find it out. Do not, I repeat, do not ever write down to whom it may concern because it's too generic and it will put people off. Then start with a greeting or salutation. In your greeting, it's a good idea to write down Mr. or Miss with the surname of the hiring manager. Again, if you don't know the hiring manager's name, you must find out. Don't hesitate to call the company where you're applying for this job. After the greeting, write down which job you are applying for. The cover letter should be written in around four to five paragraphs. The first paragraph usually starts by explaining which job you are applying for, where you have seen this job advertised, and a quick introduction about yourself. The second paragraph is the main paragraph of your cover letter. You can write about your work experience, skills, and achievements here. Explain a little bit about your previous work experience and emphasize any achievements or things you have achieved in your previous job roles. It's very important that when giving examples from your previous job roles, you should always give specific examples rather than generic ones. For example, if you have previously worked in a sales job role, you can give an example like this. You were awarded Employee of the Month because you managed to sell $100,000 worth of products. In the third paragraph of your cover letter, you will write about your unique selling point, USP, or unique selling proposition. Tell the company why you are the best fit for the job. From an employer's perspective, they want to know why they should hire you and not other candidates. So you don't have to talk about other candidates, but you must certainly explain your situation and why you seem the best fit for the company. Here, try to focus on some of the skills and things that you will bring to this job role in this company. In the last paragraph, thank the reader for reading your cover letter and include a call to action. Something like, I look forward to hearing back from you, or I would love an opportunity to interview you. End with, yours faithfully or yours sincerely and your name. That's how you write your cover letter. A couple of extra tips before we end this video. Make sure that you check your spelling and grammar before submitting your job application. And if English is not your first language, getting someone else to proofread it before you submit your cover letter is a good idea. Always give specific examples rather than generic ones because no hiring manager would like to read the same boring cover letters repeatedly. 
You must customize and change your cover letter based on every job you are applying for and only include relevant information that makes sense in the cover letter. Do not include unnecessary information in the cover letter. Again, it's a summary of your skills, work experience, and personality, so make sure to make the best of it. Altogether, your cover letter should look something like this. Lastly, if you want to make an Australian format CV, the link is in the description below, so make sure to check it out and customize that cover letter for any job application you plan to apply for. Well, I hope you find this information useful. If you do, make sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, what are you doing? You need to subscribe right now. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you get updated information when we upload a new video every week. And I hope to see you in the next video very soon. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.